they say that you can't go home again. Just don't tell that to the cast of a certain Japanese RPG as they make the return in Tales of Exilia 2 for the PlayStation 3. The latest iteration in Bandai Namco's popular role-playing game series features new main character Luger Kresnik, which coincidentally would make an awesome name for a wrestler. Yes, these are the kinds of silly thoughts that pop up in my little head. A chance meeting with a mysterious young girl eventually forces the mild-mannered cook to trade in making tomato omelettes for a more action-oriented lifestyle befitting of the name Luger Kresnik. Yes, I just can't get enough of this name. Along the way, he meets characters both new and familiar to fans of the first game. The story itself is par for the course for a Tales game, which can be good or bad depending on how you view the series' storytelling style. It feels a bit disjointed and doesn't quite capture the magic of the better stories in the series, but Tales fans should like it overall. The game also adds choice when you're spawning the characters, which can influence affinity and parts of the story too. Battling on the other hand remains a strength in this game with Exilia 2 doing justice to the series' combat system. Unlike Final Fantasy, which likes to make big changes to its battle systems with every game, Tales of Exilia 2 unapologetically sticks to the active battle system it's known for, which it continues to refine. It's a system that's primarily about combos, combos, and more combos, as you start doing piddly 8 hit attacks at first, but eventually build up to the 30s, then the 50s, and eventually the triple digits. I also like how certain moves flow well with others, like doing a low attack that knocks enemies to the ground and transitioning to Fallen Thunder, which does more damage on a downed enemy. You can also do hops, side dashes, and free runs to avoid attacks and increase your mobility in the field. Then there's the ability to sync with different team members for better synergy during battle. This also allows you to do combo attacks, including limit breaks that allow you to chain special moves and supers until your special bar runs out. Elemental attributes also add an extra wrinkle to the gameplay, as you'll want to take advantage of typing to make sure you deal the most damage possible. Meanwhile, the previous game's Lilium Orb system is replaced by the Allium Orb, which is more streamlined. It reminds me a bit of the capacity cores from Tales of the Abyss, I believe, without the need to be tied to experience levels. The universal shop system from the first Exila game also gets dropped for a more traditional shop system based on unique wares for each store, though I actually prefer the former, to be honest. Graphically, the game still looks nice for a PS3 title, but its age is also starting to show, especially when you play with an 83-inch TV like I do. Character models still look nice with their 3D anime style, and while I like the art direction in general, some of the environments are starting to look a bit bland. Meanwhile, I didn't get the sense of a grand big world due to the way the maps were segmented, which feels more confined to me. The fact that some of the environments are recycled doesn't help either. The lack of a Japanese voice track is also a bummer. The good news is that the English localization is pretty solid, with the exception of a few voices that might grate on your nerves. I also did not appreciate the constant reminder about my debt to the bank, and I do mean constant. As a guy who feels uncomfortable just from having $500 on a credit card, Exilia 2's fake game debt seriously stressed me out. <laughs> Overall though, Tales of Exilia 2 is a good game that hits the right notes for JRPG fans. I had lots of things to do on the side, such as item synthesis and character specific missions, as well as a new game plus, and you've got a pretty chunky adventure. Fans of western style RPGs may not quite like it, but if you are a Tales or JRPG fan, then this is one solid game that you'll enjoy.